today I was really touched to see Mama Shamsa and hear her speak and share her story. It was a story of going from relative poverty in Kenya to raising many children in such an inspiring manner. Two of these boys were participants as part of Emerging Peacemakers Forum and one went from a potential Al-Shabaab militant and the other as a gang member to extremely charismatic young man who I'm proud to now call my friend. And wow, she's incredibly inspirational. I'm very honored to have met her and to have some conversations with her later. I think what most inspired me in her story is yes, opening up your heart to so many people and being hospitable, that right, that feature of a leader or of a peacemaker that we were talking today is being able to invite people into your own space, into your own house and treat them as guests or as children. I think that's a big trait to have and that's what really inspired me. It made me, it made me reflect on my own motivations. We talked a little bit about like what should and shouldn't motivate us to do really, really hard work. And um, Mama Shamsa, she didn't say this explicitly, but it was very clear that she has an eternal view of everything, right? She's not thinking about the, sh the, the short term. She's not thinking about her lifetime. She's thinking about like eternity and what the world needs and what God is expecting. Um, of us and how we can be good stewards of the skills we have and the communities that we serve. Um, so I'm walking away with a new sort of lens on myself of what's motivating me from moment to moment to go for certain opportunities. Am I talking to God and checking with him and making sure that I'm walking in love and in hope and not in fear or greed? Um, or self-interest. So, uh, yeah. Thank you all. <laughs>